Hello there, Truth Seekers. It's good to see you all here again. This is Ben here, of course, laying down some real talk about these two grifters, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Y'all better buckle up. I'm about to blow the lid off their pathetic plot to weasel their way into becoming the self-appointed leaders of the entire Commonwealth and how King Charles can shut that S down with one absolutely genius power move. But hold your horses, guys. Whoa there, slow down. I can see you're all super excited for more and you're on the edge of your seat. So, of course, if you're enjoying, and I mean really enjoying our discussions about Harry and Meghan, the gruesome twosome, please do support us by liking this video. Your love and support really does help us out. It's so important to keep us going and bringing you the local news for you guys on the Duke and Duchess. So, also, you can subscribe to our channel and press the all-important bell icon to get notified of any upcoming news that will be coming your way. And, of course, the topic can be controversial. And your support really helps us spread and share that message. So without further ado, guys, grab some popcorn, nice cup of hot English tea. And now let's get started with today's Royal News and Analysis. So now, ever since the Sussexes did their melodramatic Megxit back in 2020, they've been desperately trying to cling to any shred of royal relevance they can grasp. But their recent pseudo-royal tour of Nigeria has taken that sad desperation to gross new levels of delusion. For real, did you see the way the Nigerians rolled out the red carpet and treated those two LA living D-listers? like they were still senior working roles on an official palace-sanctioned tour. It was beyond cringe. They inspected guards, got the royal treatment at the hospital, did the whole silly school visit circus act, the works, hell. They even played God Save the King as Meghan waddled out off the plane in one of her designer moomoos like she's the freaking Queen of England now. As if, you peasants, as if. I still... Can't get over the sheer audacity of those two doing their phony we are the royals routine on foreign soil like that. Have they no shame exploiting their tenuous royal ties for publicity and profit like this? Of course not, Meghan's entire life is one big branding exercise for the narcissist hall of fame. But here's the sick part. Apparently Harry and his wife in chief aren't done with their pathetic Commonwealth con job yet. Oh no. Reports say that they've already been invited to another quasi royal tour of Ghana now that they got such successful grifters high from Nigeria. According to these reports, Ghana is just the first of many Commonwealth countries currently failing and falling over themselves to extend open invitations to the has-been and aren't really royal anymore couple to come visit. It's almost like these nations don't realise Meghan and Harry quit the working for the firm ages ago and are literally have no business representing the monarchy anymore. And of course, Meghan is breathlessly jumping in at any opportunity like the power-hungry hustler she's always been. It's a sickeningly perfect scenario for the former D-list cable actress, all over the glitz, glamour, luxury, vacations and fawning media coverage of a working royal life, but with zero accountability. But of course, the biggest reason Meghan wants to continue these disastrous vanity tours of the Commonwealth so badly is because she sees them as her and Harry's way to try and usurp control of that very institution from King Charles and the monarchy itself. Think I'm exaggerating? Of course not. As the new de facto leaders of the entire Commonwealth, in their deluded minds, Meghan and Harry want to be the ones dictating their own terms of service to those nations by jet-sitting around on endless PR tours unshackled from any true responsibilities or oversight from King Charles himself. According to royal experts, while Charles and the royals can't technically stop Harry and Meg from jet-set vagabonding around these faux royal tours catering to their egos, the government could most certainly apply some serious diplomatic pressure on nations like Ghana to revoke their invites. In other words, Chuck's got diplomats who can make some very persuasive phone calls on his behalf. In case you missed that, let me break it down. Charles can quite literally pressure world governments through official diplomatic channels not to host these obnoxious Sussex tours ever again. It's such a delightfully cheeky backhanded power move 
by the new monarch and you know Charles has to be foaming at the mouth to finally be able to flex his newfound kingly muscles. Can't you just picture it? King Charles sweeping into 10 Downing Street unannounced like a modern day Henry VIII, slamming through the doors and catching the MPs pantsless and unprepared. You there, I call the blokes in Ghana post haste and make it damn clear the monarchy does not approve. See, the truth of the matter is Meghan and Harry's cringy acting career as self-appointed Commonwealth ambassadors plays right into King Charles's master plan for a more slimmed down monarchy. So if Charles is looking to downsize and streamline the future of the royal family's global footprint into a lean, mean, air-making machine, then Meghan and Harry desperately trying to insert themselves into the exclusive club of Commonwealth influencers is only going to massively undermine the whole effort. And let's be honest, Charles has to be looking at all these thirsty Harry and Meghan Commonwealth tour speculation reports piling up and thinking, oh hell nah, these two clowns did not quit working for the firm just to try and make a mockery of this entire global institution now. You know Chuck ain't gonna stand for that sovereign dissing bullshittery. At its core, Charles is a cantankerous old man who doesn't abide by any perceived challenges to his God-given authority. Nope, Charles would rather see the institution be inherited from his devoted mother burn to the ground than let some self-serving Aravista social climber reality star anywhere near the reins of power. So don't be surprised when King Charles summons where whatever remaining political influence he has left to forcefully squash any and all future opportunities for the Sussexes to pull their cringy where the real working raw charade across the Commonwealth just call it another savage casualty in Harry and Meghan's never-ending us versus them proxy war with the roles over status, spotlight, and Windsor branded global domination. Because that's what it is really all about at the end of the day, plain and simple. Petty revenge, narcissistic jealousy, and a thirst to become the all-powerful global ambassadors. The monarchy never let Harry and Meg become themselves. So, our royal followers, what on earth do you think about today's shocking, shocking news? Well, of course, this is a community channel. We want to get your thoughts on this. So make sure to let us know in the comments and we'll be sure to reply back to you as soon as possible. And of course, if you want more juicy raw content just like this, then don't worry. I'll be back very, very soon with some more wow, scalding hot tea for you guys to sip on but before closing in of course you all know the drill really helps us out here if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel to show your support and also share the video to spread the word on our epic channel so we really thank you for all your enormous love and support and until next time folks have a great day and of course we'll see you again with more royal news and analysis goodbye for now guys have a great one